I have been involved now with energy systems and trying to bring out the new energy systems for a new civilization on this planet. And many people don't see the connection between extraterrestrial intelligence, the Disclosure Project, and the OrionProject.org. And I want to just take a moment to make those connections. Because I think it's very, very important that people understand that these are three projects that I direct that are really all part of one strategy. Now, many of you know that the whole UFO question has been kept secret for more than 60 years. And there are a number of reasons why. Number one, in the early days, they didn't know what they were dealing with. Number two, there were reasons that were a theological and religious. And some of those still continue for some people in the secret uh, government. For example, there's a Jet Propulsion Lab scientist that I know, very senior, who told me very directly that there are structures, ancient structures, on Mars connected to a civilization that's connected to early human civilization on Earth. And he has confirmed this to me, and he said, but the reason that NASA will not disclose this sort of information is that it would collapse, and I'm quoting, collapse the foundations of all the orthodox religious belief systems on the planet. To which I said, bueno. But this is a problem in some sectors of the society. And so, for example, in America, 25% of the population believe literally the world is only 6,000 years old. One in four Americans. They think we rode dinosaurs with saddles. And there is a museum in Kentucky dedicated, a $26 million museum, dedicated to showing how children were riding the, the dinosaurs 6,000 years ago. So there are people who don't want to hear the truth about many things. So that has been one of the reasons. And I know it sounds insane to any educated person and probably to most people in, in Europe and Spain. But in America, one in four people believe that. they like children. Yeah. Idiots. Just about Gary Cohn. Uh, he was a noted free trader or globalist. Will the president seek another globalist, another free trader? I'm not going to get ahead of the president's announcement on who will uh, replace Gary. Follow yes. on. Well, huge news breaking right now where InfoWars is under attack, free speech is under attack, conservative speech is under attack. Well, we're fighting back. Not only is our audience fighting back by supporting us at InfoWarsStore.com, now you have the Trump administration, the Trump campaign manager, Brad Parscale, warning big tech on Twitter, hey, Facebook, Google, Twitter, um, Facebook, everybody, we're watching. This is your opportunity to make sure the playing field is level. Uh, Alex Jones obviously was spearheading the watching of the big tech giants that are censoring conservative. Brad Parscale warns big tech. We are... Watching, and we've got this tweet here. Hey, Facebook, uh, Twitter, and Google, we are watching. This is your opportunity to make sure the playing field is level. And of course, the, the playing field is not level. Hillary is openly cheerleading that uh, she's planning to run again insanely, or Joe Biden, that don't worry, she'll win because by the time she runs and by the time 2018 is over, they're going to have internet censorship in place. But the great news is now the White House gets it, they know what's going on. Bush ethics lawyer, it looks like Devin Nunez is getting the money wow. from the Russians. For more on just how unprecedented all of this is, let's bring in Richard Boehner, Chief White House ethics lawyer under George W. Bush, and Nicholas Kristof, New York Times columnist. Um, Richard, to you first. I want to get your reaction to Bill Crystal's tweet, because we have to separate the two. While this is unprecedented, it's ridiculous, we don't like it, it's unprofessional, what is it actually doing? Let's hold on, pause it again. What's Congressman Nunes getting out of this? He is showing that the DNC paid for a fake dossier, fan fiction, or anti fan fiction. Literally, they had this British guy who hated Trump write fan fiction. I guess you would call it anti fan fiction. About Trump with a bunch of hookers in a hotel. And in Russia. And so he paid, and then this 
dossier was used, hey! the agency paid for and the FBI paid for, was used to keep getting FISA warrants. You have to renew these every 90 days, 90 days. So they used this to do it every 90 days, and the FBI knew it was dubious at best.